Okay. So, we have been doing up to now just permutations. For, perm for permutation, order matters. Okay? That is always the question you're going to have to now start asking. Does order matter or does it not matter? Because if it does matter, I'm going to do a permutation. If it doesn't matter, I'm going to do a combination. Now, that is going to be the big, the order doesn't matter. Okay? Now, instead of just, I don't want to actually do this, but... I want to just kind of give you examples where. Good afternoon, everyone. Please excuse the interruption again. Okay, so here's an example where order doesn't matter. Okay, uh, so let's say you're playing poker and you were dealt five cards. Now, why does order not matter? Kay? If if you've ever played, you know, real poker, uh, all cards are dealt, and then you pick them up. Okay? And you can arrange them. You can't go, you know, like, it, it doesn't matter what order you would dealt them. That's still your hand. So, definitely, uh, that would be a situation where doesn't matter uh, if you pick a group of people for a committee. Okay, so it's kind of like if a uh, grad committee. Okay, so you pick those people and they don't have specific positions. Okay, it's not like your president, your vice president, your secretary, right? It's just you pick a, you pick a group. Okay, order doesn't matter, and they'll be very specific when order matters. Okay, when they're picking positions for a team, order matters. Right, when you are ordering a pizza, order doesn't matter. Okay. So, ordering a pizza. Now, even with that, making a pizza, order does matter. Right? So, if you asked for, you know, say, you know, mushrooms and meat and all this stuff and fresh tomatoes... They should put those on last, and they should actually put them on after the pizza's done cooking, right? Okay, Yusuf doesn't do that. But, you know, and, and putting on the tomato sauce last would just be weird, right? So, ordering a pizza would be di very different than making a pizza when it comes to perms and comms. So this stuff starts to get where it's, it, that will be probably the uh, first question. Always ask, is it a perm? Is it a comm? Because if it's a perm, I'm going to do it this way. If it's a combination, I'm going to do it this way. Um, now, if you have, uh, say, three objects, And if order matters, how many different ways could you arrange them? Three times two times one. There's six ways. Okay, so we would say this is three pick three. It equals six. But if you have three objects, 
and order doesn't matter, you have three, choose three. Now, if I have three people in my class, that'd be a nice class. But if I had three people in that class, and I said, you three, can you come with me? I need to, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the office I need you to grab. How many ways could I pick those three people? Three? Okay, just for ease, let's call those children A, B, C. How many ways can I pick ABC to go and grab the Okay. So here are my three children. They got A. They got B. And I got C and I those three, that's all I got. And I say, you three, can you go to the office and grab me some books? How many ways? One way. Right? Like, sh would they be like, I got picked first to go. Yeah. Right? There's always that kid. Always that kid. Right? Picked me first. Right? Now, if I said, I need you to pick up the books, I need you to pick up the pencils, I need you to pick up uh, Kleenex, okay? Then we might be thinking permutation. But 3C3 equals 1. There's only one way to send those three people, right? And nobody cares if they, like, interchange as they walk through the hall, right? It's still the same group. So 3P3 is 6. There's actually 6 different ABC. I could get 3 different perms from that. And with ABC, you 3, I need you to go and grab that. Okay. There would only be one way. So you're going to find when you do a combination, the answer should be much less than if you did a permutation. Because with when order matters, it's so many more ways to do it. Now, here is your NCR, right? So that's the number of objects. Chosen R at a time. <coughs> and then you have your formula here, the old, o the non calculator way to do it. It's n factorial over r factorial n minus r. Now I've always known the r factorial to be at the end, but it doesn't matter how it is. Now, 3C2 says, okay, if I have three objects, how many groups of two could I make? Okay, so uh, a lot of words to remember. Now, I'm not going to actually go through these. I'm just going to let's start doing some examples. Now, Joe had a choice of four flavors of ice cream for his two scoop sundae vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, and butterscotch. List all the permutations. Okay, so this one says, first of all, permutations for two. So you could have vanilla, strawberry, or strawberry, vanilla. Okay, you could have vanilla, chocolate, or chocolate, vanilla. 
you could have vanilla butterscotch, butterscotch vanilla. You can have strawberry chocolate, chocolate strawberry. You can have strawberry butterscotch, butterscotch strawberry. Trying to do two things at one time here. And then you have chocolate, butterscotch, and butterscotch. Chocolate. Now, if you count them, you get 12. Now, the way you could put that into your calculator is by going, well, there's four objects, and I'm going to be picking groups of two. Now, if you do that using the formula, that's 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial. Oops, my factorial should be outside. That's 4 factorial over 2 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. Those cross out, which equals 12. Now, this is a really good example because you can see how we have groups here that if order didn't matter, they would be the same. Right? Like vanilla, strawberry, strawberry, vanilla. Right? For most of us, the way that ice cream cone is given to us, we're not going to freak out about, right? You get that one, like, type AAA kid, right? You're freaking out. Yeah, I want a butterscotch first, right? But God, be like, it's the same thing. Just eat it, right? But, so, when it does ask for combinations, we don't care about the order. That means VS or SV would be the same thing. Okay, there's still, but you got a vanilla strawberry cone. So by looking above, you would say that, see, there's only six ways. But this would be four choose two. Just below the other one, the P. So that's four factorial over four minus two factorial two factorial, which is the same thing as four times three times 2 factorial over 2 factorial 2 factorial. Those will cancel, which is 12 over 2, which is 6. Okay, and to show you how to do that on your calculator, you hit the 4, you hit math, go left. There it is, number 3. C, 2 equals 6. So, how's the number of two flavored permutation related to the number of two flavored combinations? Now, in this case, just in this case, don't generalize. Oh, there's always twice as many. No. Okay? In this case, there's twice as many. Oh, yeah. Twice as many perms as there was comms. So when order doesn't matter, you're not going to get as many. And, you know, the... Uh, 30, the 30-2 diploma is quite clear if it's a perm or it's a com. Okay, so if we were doing 5C3, now I know we know how to put that into our calculator. Oh, I guess I should go back and talk about this too. This is one other way that perms, or sorry, combinations can be written. So go back to B. Um, they can be written like this, 4, 2. Now that form is used for combinations. 
Okay, so that's just another form. So these are three different ways of showing the same thing. Four, two, yeah, it's four over two. Two brackets, there's no line there, just four over two. So I think it was shown, I guess it's not shown there, okay? So, 5C3, okay, that could look like this. Or 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. which is 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial. Those would cancel. 5 times 4 is 20 over 2, which is 10. Okay, in your calculator. Now, I find that it is way faster if you just hit second enter and bring back your old one and then you can just put in 5C2. So I always use second enter when I'm doing enough of these, and then I don't have to go through all the... So you get 10. Okay, now 6, uh, 6C4. This is the same thing as 6 choose 4, which is the same as 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. which is 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 2 factorial, 4 factorial. Those will cancel. 6 times 5 is 30 over 2 is, there's 15 different combinations. Okay, so a restaurant serves 10 flavors of ice cream. And again, you will see how fast these questions are. This will be the fastest part of your diploma. The last unit, this unit, and the next one. Okay, they go super fast. Now, Danielle has ordered a large sundae with three scoops of ice cream. How many different combinations does Danielle have to choose from if she wants each scoop to be a different flavor? So, keyword, okay, or she doesn't care about the order. They will say something in there. Or she wants it in a specific order. Then you're on to permutations. So, you have 10 flavors and you are going to choose three of them. Okay, so put it in your calculator. What do you get? 10, choose 3, you get 120. Get very, very fast questions. They obviously will have, this is multiple choice. Now, this is a really nice numerical response question. Easy to put in your calculator, easy to uh, fill in. Okay, Tanya is the coach of th a pole push team that consists of nine players, five male and four female. Okay, so you really have to, um, at least for me, because I get lost in all the, all the words and stuff, I kind of, so we have nine players. So we have five male and we have four female. So this is what I need to do on all these. Okay? These these uh when I was going when I was your age, these were quite difficult for me. So I really had to put everything into place to get these ones right. Now in each competition, reams of four, I would assume that's teams of four, compete against each other. So now we got teams of four. Okay, so now I got four.
it says how many different four person teams does Tanya have to choose from for an all male competition? Okay. Now, first of all, how many players do I have to pick from or choose from? Five. Very good. So five, choose four equals five. There's five different teams you can make. So five, just five, choose four. Okay, so five four person teams. Sometimes the pen doesn't start fast enough. Okay, now B is probably more the type of question you'll get on your diploma. How many different four person teams does Tanya have to choose from with two males and two females for the mixed competition? Okay. How can I choose the two males? How many ways can I choose the females? So that equals 60 combinations. Multiplications. See, that's five, or sorry, two males and two females. So you're going to use times for and, right? It's always times. Now we're going to get into more difficult ones later where they say, how many different ways are there if there must be at least three females on the team? Okay, so then it starts to get where you have to start doing all the different possibilities. Well, at least, what does at least three mean? It means there's got to be, is there four or three females, right? That's at least three. Okay, if it's at least one, that must, that's four females, zero males. Three females, right? We're going to do more of those tomorrow, but that's how they can make these a bit more challenging. They all mess with my head. Example five. I'm going to do one more. How many five card hands are there with three black and two red cards? Now, do you see why this is a combination? Okay, order doesn't matter. So, order does not matter. Okay, so we need three black and two red. Okay, so how, m how do I choose the black? 26, choose three. And how do I choose the red? Choose two. Okay, and that is 845,000 different hands. Okay, now I guess I am going to just go on to that territory. So that's A. Now, this is the type of question that would, uh, will be on the diploma. 
Okay, so how many five card hands have at least three blacks? Now, as soon as you see at least, this is where you add them up. Okay, whenever you see at least, that's a key word that you need to add up different scenarios. Now, when you have at least three, you can have more than three. Okay? Yes? Okay, okay, hold on, because let's talk about a three black card hand. How do you th pick a three black card hand? So one hand would be three black, two red. Plus, what would be another hand that would work? Four black, one red. So this is or. Do you see how we're using plus for or? So I could have a three black, two red, or four black, one red, or five black. And you can write zero red if you like. And just, d is that at least three blacks? Yes. yes, each one of them has at least three blacks. So then it's just a matter of doing your, this is 26C3, 26C2, plus 26 C4, 26 C1. And this would be 26 C5. And if you really wanted to, you could go 26 C0. But that's just going to, like, how many ways can you pick zero things? Or choose zero things, I should say. One way, okay? There's one way. Which, it's like a, what? You don't even, you're not even taking anything. How's that a way, right? Well, how many ways can I take nothing? There's only one way. But this might just make the most sense, right? 26 C5. Now, you can put that all in one shot. I've seen it where this would be like, you know, A, B, this would be B. That's what they would have for you, the line to pick, right? But maybe it's a multiple choice question where they want to know the answer. So just make sure that these are multiplied plus these two are multiplied plus that. And you get a big number. You would get one million two hundred and ninety nine thousand four hundred and eighty combinations. Okay, so it is kind of weird that they call it a combination lock because in a combination lock, the order does matter. You can't just take your three digits and put them in any order and it'll open. Right? So, I mean, by definition, it's a permutation lock, right? If order didn't matter, like, do you, do you know anything where when you put in a code, it doesn't matter, the order? No, most times it matters, right? Even those, like, little cheap bike locks we used to have when we were kids, right? We had to line up all the numbers and it pulls out, right? Even, even those ones, you had to have an order. Okay, so we're doing page 41 to 43.